that there has been a consistent follow-up on this particular case and we've had quite a number of names recently we had uh, although on a different level um, governors who possibly would be arraigned in court on charges of corruption do you feel like Kenya is finally making strides towards fighting corruption recently I had the DPP say this under court he said that we have enough laws to uh, deal with issues of corruption except that there was no goodwill from the top. And then he said, there is now goodwill from the top. And he based his uh, hope on the goodwill from the top. If that continues and with the pressure of ensuring uh, that cases are followed up to their logical conclusion within the shortest time possible also at the courts of law, then we can see a light at the end of the day. My biggest fear, however, is when we have investigators that are actually leading the investigation in such magnitude of cases and of corruption involve, then I have a fear uh, that perhaps we may not see a very good end of it. However, there is a practice world over of having enticing whistleblowers and people who have information to incriminate or to help tighten the case. Most cases, those people in other countries like USA, you will be given a minimal sentence or be set free in exchange of that information that is valid. I think Kenya, we need to move from just uh, knowing that there are whistleblowers there and having a witness protection um, you know, law in place that perhaps is not even being implemented well to a point where we can start rewarding mm -hmm. people that are giving us information uh, in line with the corruption in this country. For example, I'm just saying, if, if perhaps you uh, an art and uh, uh, money stolen worth a hundred million maybe uh, you know a tenth of it or uh, uh, you know maybe a quarter of it can come to help you and in that you are awarding people who are giving information about corruption in this country and when you award them more cases will come out with people that are involved with them or give them an immunity of jail so that when they release information that Mike Agwanda has told X amount of money and I have evidence that they will be able to be given something as support. The problem we have in this country has been that uh, uh, now corruption is more of a career uh, than just uh, stealing. People are rewarded to be corrupt in this country. For example, you steal 100 million and the next day you go to the village and people sing for you and you become the MP or the governor. Or, and, and so we are propelling corruption and rewarding it with the higher offices in this country. I wish we will be able to go a step forward and say, look, if you know of an information about an individual that was involved in this corruption, and as Weda has said, let me tell you, people know one another, thieves know themselves, and they know how much the they took and when they took it and who was given what. Why can't we reward those people with those kind of information? Until we can reward those people, we are still going to just hear about this corruption when somebody gets annoyed. And for your information, we do hear about this corruption when somebody gets annoyed. And secondly, I want to say this. Until we also act on what the Auditor General gives us every year, mm. from the counties, from the central government, from the military, from the police, and every government sector, and say, this is what has happened, and make sure that heads rolls when the Auditor General says the money that was stolen here or they cannot be accounted for, we will not see this war end. There are some legitimate things that we must do, follow up on Auditor Generals and make sure that people are arrested. I hope, just like the DPP said, that there is will from the top now to fight corruption, that it will continue and we'll see genuine fight on corruption. All right, Ambrose Weda, do you think there's goodwill from the top when you see what's happening? Because there are those uh, skeptics who say that there is really nothing new. All we're seeing is a few arrests, a lot of noise right now. Then before we know it, something else comes up and we forget all this. I think when you, the, the top here, basically we mean the president. Correct. And when you look at the body language, you look at the face, you look at the words, the president is angry. 
And that anger is what we call the goodwill. Mm. The rest are technical. The DPP has the technical part. There are other advisors. So that goodwill comes in when he also says, I will not protect anybody. Please get them. And when you get them, we have enough laws. If you take, for instance, the law called abuse of office. Mm. Abuse of office is basically conferring a benefit to somebody. So if in my office, in your office, you allow me to benefit or you confer that benefit, you give me a tender irregularly, that's abuse of office as long as I gain something. So there are enough laws. Where we have reached, the moment you see uh, we, we, we go for peace, and if we could get two, three cabinet secretaries, uh, the, the, the shock mm. will, will live on the shock for another five years, because the fear would actually be there. Yeah. It is this big guy. You cannot remove a billion shillings unless it is from the top. And Correct. it is shared by everybody. Mm. There's no way some clerks would reach that amount. And what he says, the whistleblowers need to be paid. And you know the whistleblowers? Some of these people do photocopies in the office. Those who do deliver, <coughs> they know. They see the checks. The ones who carry the check here, they are, the ones who carry the documents here, they, they see them and they know he, this is theft, they know it. And that's why some of them, when they are sacked or when they're annoyed or when they feel bad, then they come out and say, okay, it is time. So where we are going, I think there's a lot of hope mm. if we can sustain it for a long time. For a long time, all right? And we'll wait and see as those investigations span out, of course, right?